In this episode, we horse around on some one wheels while learning how to ride my first electric unicycle. This is the King Song 16S. Got this pad here for your legs to rest against, just like a piece of luggage. I've been fiddling around with the app. I had to download the King Song app. I was able to connect it to the electric unicycle. It wasn't an easy process to connect it to the electric unicycle and to use the app. The app is very basic, very generic. And then one thing I did learn, I'm gonna turn this on right now. Turn this on. Once it's connected Bluetooth though, is connected. and once the Bluetooth is connected, you'll be able to, you have to make sure you unlock the electric unicycle. And I didn't know that. I tried getting on without unlocking it and it just wouldn't work. And I tried and tried, couldn't figure it out. Contacted Jason over from eWheels, bought this un electric unicycle from him and his website. And he responded in like 30 seconds, right on top of it. So super nice customer service there. And okay, now it's completely connected to the app. That's what that beeping was. Let me know I'm connected. But you see that button there, that green button in the bottom left-hand corner that says lock? You need to hit that and unlock the electric unicycle permanently for the first time so that you can use it. And once it's unlocked, you can see here that, here, I'm gonna turn it off. So when it's off and you move it back backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, it tilts, right? But when you turn it on, when you Bluetooth turn it on, is connected. the internal workings keeps it self-balancing forwards and when you go forwards and backwards. Will it fall side to side? Yes, it still will. But forwards and backwards, it'll still stay upright. And that's what the purpose of the internal workings are. That's the electronic component because it's going to try to keep you upright. When you lean forward, it'll go forward. When you lean back, it'll go backwards. And that is basically how it works. So one of the cool things too, is this thing has a built-in speaker, which I think is pretty sweet. And I am just going to give you a little taste of this. We're gonna play the new Avengers Endgame trailer. Avengers Endgame, it's coming soon. I'm super excited, but uh, check this out. This is just with the speaker from this electric unicycle. Look how the lights are synchronized. Pretty years sweet. Ago, the lights are synchronized with it. I fought my way out of that cave. Became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. So that's just an example, a taste of the sound system for this. It's the one wheel. Truly does bring me joy. It's a ton of fun to ride. I'm gonna see how this is. So next step is to learn how to ride this beast. I'm gonna go find somewhere where I can ride this and hopefully not scuff it up too much. This is hard, hard to do. All right, you try. Whoa, there's speakers on it? Yeah, there's speakers. Oh, so you can play music? Yeah, watch this. That's so cool. Turn the music on the way. Turn it up all the way. It's coming out of this guy. Other videos. I've watched Chooch, I've watched Duff, I've watched uh, a whole host of people riding these electric unicycles and I think the learning curve is a little more steep compared to the one wheel. The one wheel, for the most part, you can jump on and figure it out. With this, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. <laughs> Yep. Wow. 
Learning this electric unicycle thing, good workout. Good workout. All right, what's up guys? So I have about one hour's experience on the electric unicycle, mostly uh, all indoors on a carpeted floor. I'm going to progress to the next level. I'm out here on this field and I'm gonna try it out on this field, okay? The cruising speed on this is 22 miles an hour. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. The maximum load, it can carry a, a person up to 300 pounds. There is a charge time of three hours to get from zero to 80%. And with that, with a full charge, you can go a range of 40 miles. So if you follow my other videos, you know I'm a big fan of the one wheel. With the one wheel, their flagship model, the XR, can go up to 18 miles range. This boasts a range of 40 miles. Check that out, over double what the XR can do. So pretty cool, I'm excited to use this range. I like a boss. Doing pretty good on the grass field. I feel like I'm ready for a hard surface like this sidewalk here. It's nice and straight, so I think it's gonna give me a little bit of a challenge, but not too much of a challenge. Okay, so I love the 40 mile range. I love being able to explore more territory on a single charge. I'm gonna love the increased top speed. I think on this, it's about 22 miles an hour. This thing has some amazing capabilities. It's got double the range of an XR, uh, six, over six times the range of a pint or of a uh, plus. And so I think this is gonna unlock a lot. It's got a higher top speed at 22 miles. It's, it's got a higher top speed than those one wheels. The only thing though is will it have the same experience? No, it's not going to have the same experience as a one wheel because this isn't a one wheel. Don't expect it to have the same experience, but it'll be a different experience. Will it be as fun of an experience? So one of the things that kind of makes sense with this is the faster you go, the less it wobbles. You have better balance. It's kind of like when you're on your bike or even on the one wheel. If you're cruising at a good speed, then that prevents kind of that squirreliness and that wobbling that happens. I just figured that out as I was heading down there. I was going a pretty good speed, and but not too fast, and uh, I felt much more smooth. So running low on batteries on the GoPro. This guy though, this guy's got like 35 to 40 miles range. A ton of fun, about an hour and a half. Uh, hour and 40 minutes and I I feel fairly confident on this not confident enough to go on the street just yet but I think with practice that'll come and it's been a ton of fun hopefully as I progress I'll be able to show more videos of me riding this electric unicycle I got this from ewheels.com I'm an affiliate I have a link below if you use that to check out ewheels.com and their site and you end up buying something, I get a small percentage that helps to support the channel and I appreciate you for doing that, all right? So, ton of fun. I'm gonna love the distance with this once I get more comfortable with it and I think this is only going to complement my fleet of one wheels and the enjoyment and the fun that my family and I will be able to do as we go out and explore on these one rad wheels. So before I end, I just want to leave with a few last comments. The King Song 16S. The 16 stands for the size of the wheel at 16 inches. Some consider this a mid-range wheel 
and while you may read that beginners should start with a smaller wheel with an electric unicycle that has less power, after doing my research, I feel that the Kingsong 16S has been perfect for me as a beginner and I'll be able to grow into it as my skills improve. Your first EUC and the EUC that you used to teach people with will get its fair share of battle scars and damage as time goes by because it's going to fall, it's going to get scratched up but the experiences and the memories that it will provide will be worth it. It's been really fun to learn how to ride this electric unicycle. I've been really impressed thus far with this wheel and I can totally see the appeal. I look forward to getting better on this and I can, as I continue to practice and explore roads and trails alike. That's only after an hour and a half of riding. 